using actually. And I'm going to go apply my second texture channel, light map. And this is how it's going to look like in real time. We can see that here in Blender, okay, uh, it seems that we overwrite, okay, what was there before, okay, like we, but in, in fact, when we're clicking here on which uh, UV layer to use, we're capable to see, able to see how uh, these two texture uh, are implemented on our model. And basically in real time, what is going to happen is this two texture will blend together. By default, I'm using the, the standard OpenGL combiner, okay, like the one that are there uh, set by default by the GL uh, implementation. So basically what is going to happen is uh, white will simply, you know, like be transparent and any other color uh, will be blended uh, together using multiply with the previous uh, texture channel that was there. In our case, our like kind of rock texture and this one. So basically you can use this technique, okay, to reproduce something like in Quake 3, like the light maps in Quake 3 were all done like that, okay. So in this case, uh, this is the texture that I'm using and we're going to see that in real time uh, the effect is pretty uh, similar so I'm going back in scripting and this time I modify my this time I modify my object so I'm only going to click update and export again and I'm going to build and go and that's it now we got our two texture channels that are blended uh, together in uh, real time. Oh, in addition, also, uh, we are in landscape mode. Yes, okay, I had like people that ask me on uh, the forum, okay, but if I don't want to be in uh, landscape mode and I want to go in portrait, so basically if you take the look inside like the template.mm, okay, and inside template render function, you're going to be able to see that there's like to SIO2 function here, like enter landscape 3D and leave landscape 3D. If you just want to stay in port, if you just want to use like portrait mode, you know, you can simply just like common these and uh, like in my case, okay, build again. And you're just going to use like this, the, the, the regular like portrait mode, okay, and you'll see it like what's going on like in the simulator. So I'm going to leave it like that for now, okay, and I'm going to go back in Blender. And now I'm going to modify the material that it's applied on my object. Going back in model. And, okay, we didn't see, like, no big difference, okay, because we're using, like, the default, like, gray shading. But let's say that we're going to put, like, an extreme, like, color, like, let's say, like, green, okay. So we're going to export again. And we are going to be able to see how the material will affect how these two, the overall color, the unified color of uh, this model. Basically, uh, this is also like the, the same kind of property that will be uh, used when we're using uh, lightning. Okay, like it's in tutorial 8, tutorial 08, where I'm showing how to uh, use uh, lights, a combination of Blender and SiO2. And this is the kind of property that uh, the light will be affected but in this case we're really applying like the material which is like an overall color like you can obviously see that it's all green and this thing also mix with our two texture channel and this is our final result so if you're looking if okay depending on what you want to do okay in this case I'm just applying like a unified uh, color but uh, now I'm going to show you in combination with vertex uh, color Vertex color will literally like override like the default uh, material uh, property. So I'm going to go in vertex paint and that, that was green. So I'm going to select like red. I'm going to paint like the top here and re-export again. Launch it and then we are able to see that now it's not green at all. Okay, we the vertex color uh, totally override uh, that material. And also, once again, this is the same thing that will be used when we're using uh, GL light. So depending on what you want to do, okay, like with vertex color, which is nice, you can really like uh, have a different color like per vertex, okay, and using the standard material, the color will be applied like uh, overall uh, the model. So it 
really depend on what you want to do, okay, that you want to use uh, one or uh, the other. So that's basically it for this, for this uh, tutorial, okay, combination of uh, uh, texture, multiple texture channel, uh, standard GL blender material and uh, vertex color.